What's good, y'all? It's Troy Blake, and we are now live with a Culture VA exclusive interview. It's Rick Rogers, the hit maker. We're now live on Culture VA with the first official interview with my man, Troy Blake. What's up? How you doing tonight, Mr. Blake? I'm pretty good, man. Just recorded some shit. All right, so for the people who don't know, where are you from? I'm from here in Hampton, Virginia. Born and raised? Yeah, born and raised. Um, what middle school did you attend? I went to Simmons Middle School. What high school did you attend? Kick it to him. That white ass shit. <laughs> you still kick it with any of your friends from school? Uh, yeah, a few of them. I mean, but it's a lot of friends that I don't got with back then that now it ain't the same. So it's just a couple. All right. So um, um, exactly when did you get into doing music? Um, like when I was five. It started out with like instruments. I was playing guitar and shit, piano, and then I started like singing with the guitar. Then that's when I transitioned to hip hop and started recording in the studio and shit like that. So do you still um do you still mess with the guitar? Oh yeah, I play it mm, every week, every week yeah. Um, you took classes and all that too, or was it like self taught? I mean, I took classes in high school, but I actually failed that shit, and I was like, fuck it, I want to learn myself, so I just taught myself everything else after that. So knowing that you are great at making music. You know, from recording you, I hear the different things that you do, the ways you carry melody and all that. Has playing the guitar actually helped with that as far as making the music? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, it's pretty much just like the notes that's on the guitar that help me harmonize when I actually sing or rap on a, you know, on the actual beat or some shit like that. So, yeah, it helped out a lot. All right, so being that you started music at the age five, when would you say you actually started taking it serious as far as like iTunes and stuff like that? Um, as far as iTunes and like put them on uh, like all streaming platforms, I want to say about two years ago, yeah. Two years. S what has been your favorite experience since putting your music on iTunes and everything? Um, just seeing like the numbers go up and like this, you know, all the stats just and like different places where people listen to my music. That's just interesting to me and I fuck with that for her. All right, so um, are you more interested in being signed to a major label or more interested in being independent? Um, honestly, I'm independent as of right now, but you know what I'm saying? If a opportunity faces, you know what I'm saying, or surfaces, I'm going to take that shit because, you know what I'm saying, that's a lot of bread. Or if it's for enough bread, I'm definitely going to take that shit, take the opportunity to be on the label. All right, so outside looking in, if you could be a spectator of Troy Blake's music career, um, what would you feel like you're missing? Um, I feel like I'm missing my work ethic. Like, that's my worst um, flaw as an artist. I don't I don't work hard enough, and uh, I need to get back on my shit. Because, honestly, I could take over the state, the coast, possibly the whole world. So, fuck it. I yeah, might as well you, just get on my shit. You're potentially the number one artist in the world, man. I don't even know if you realize it or not, but... I don't. But that's another problem. I don't realize my potential that others see in me, so... I got to get better at knowing myself and knowing who I am. Is it a confidence thing? Um, it's not really that because I performed in I performed in front of people and it's not really confidence. I'm not sure what it is. I know it's like it's a mixture of like my life, just shit, shit like everyday shit that I know is not meant for me because I'm meant to live how I want to and and do things that I want to do and be places that I want to be. So I really don't I don't give a fuck about just going to work and shit like that. I want to be a performer. I want to be a star. I want to be something that this whole state never even seen before. Something that's so big that down the road, down the line, years later, on some Michael Jackson shit, to be honest with you. I'm trying to be that big. All right, so if you don't mind me giving an honest opinion, when I first met you, you came off weird. It could be because of, um, you know, I mean, it, it could be because of how you dress and everything like that, but... <laughs> I want to know, not no funny shit, because you got yeah. your own swag. You know what I'm saying? It's not a knock, it's just different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to know where did your sense of style come from? Like, what uh, are you influenced by? I mean, I really don't know. I mean, I do got a friend, my bro Greg. Like, he got, he like really into fashion and shit. So he pretty much helped me along the way with how I dress now. But now it's like up to me to do it. He just like gave me the stepping stones of how to push it together. And that's my dog, so hell yeah. All right, so I'm a pretty avid listener of your music. I heard you mention the passing of your father, so I wonder, like, oh, yeah. um, you know, how has that affected you? 
oh, shit, man. since that day. That affected me like greatly, like in a an intense way, like for sure. Cause it was just like it, it still feel like it happened yesterday, you know, that's like a cliche saying, but it really it really feels like that. But he died uh January fourth, shit, June fourth, twenty sixteen. And I was before Father's Day and my birthday is June twenty fourth, so I was before my birthday. That was for all that shit. And uh like all he wanted was like like our whole family to get, you know, bring us together again, like have have a reunion or whatever. And when he died, you know what I'm saying, that's what happened. So his death caused his dream to come true. And it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like I actually did a poem at his funeral and I was talking, you know what I'm saying, uh just expressing myself how I felt through the poem and I did that in front of everybody. So at that moment when I did that, I knew that I can do anything, perform in front of anybody and do anything that I that I ever want. So but that moment definitely it fucked me up a lot. And that slowed me down. But I can't blame that no more. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame his death as the the downfall of me as an artist. All right. I gotta, you know what I'm saying, accept it and just keep moving forward with it. And I just have to live with it, because he's not coming back. And one day I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna see him anyway, so I just gotta keep pushing. Yeah, the best way I always see it is even me never meeting your father, I still get to meet your dad because you are an offspring of your oh, father. Oh, yeah, for sure. For so sure. forever he lives on through you, through your kids, and everyone else that's part of the family. Yeah. All right, so um, what can we expect musically from you in 2020? It's a whole new year, um, man. We're still in January, man. Uh, pretty much you're going to just expect new content, music videos. Just you're going to see me working. You're going to see me working a lot more than what people have seen lately. And that's bare minimum because I've been fucking up and off my shit. So I'm getting back on it and I'm coming stronger than before. So that's what you should expect. Something better. Indeed. So you're born in Virginia. Yeah. How do you feel about the support that Virginia shows their mm. local artists? I mean, that's, I suck. For real, for real. To me, because I, I don't. It's just so many other places that I've seen how easily the support system works and how they do things. And then you come here and it's like everybody, pretty much a free for all, everybody for themselves and they don't support others. It's always those group of people, of course, or a certain amount of people that do support local artists, like A Million Entertainment, for example. She does a lot of shit for the local, the local artistry around here. So yeah. All right, so let's fast forward to 2021. Troy Blake has the biggest check from his music career of his life. What does what would Troy Blake do with that money to help the local town of Virginia? Um, I would definitely build a studio, like a big ass studio for like with multiple engineers, uh, A and R's, whatever, just to make things smoother around this area. Cause it's like not a lot of studios, and if it is a studio, you gotta go far or some bullshit. So I want a convenient area and just place for artists to be so they can feel comfortable, maybe just write at anything. Just, y'all could just show up, pop out, whatever. But you know, I'm still gonna charge y'all ass for the, for the feet. But, mm. <laughs> Exactly though, exactly. <laughs> Cause everybody gotta eat. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna, Try to make things better around here. I'm not sure like the exact idea of what or how to do that, but I want to work towards something greater that the state has never seen, like bigger than something in the water, all that shit. Indeed. How do you feel about um when people say things like Tim and Pharrell and them don't come back to help the channel? Like, what's your opinion on that? Um, I mean, as an artist and like when you get big like that. Who really gives a fuck what other people say? Like, honestly, right. if you don't, I mean, it's it's always good to definitely come back and show support to your city, your state, or wherever you're from, but you're not entitled to do that at the same time. So it's like a, a mixed feeling about this whole situation. All right, Culture VA. Outside looking in, what is Culture VA to you? Um, that's just like, it's a platform for all artists God damn! I'm why? Hold on, wait. I'm about to get this shit right. Because I'm not about to fuck this up. Because this morning, 
I was practicing for an interview in the True. mirror this morning, and I did not know this was going to happen, but obviously I didn't practice enough. <laughs> Can't practice life, man. It I is know, what I it know, is. I know. But I do all the time. Like, wait, hold on, hold on. This nigga tripping. I'm obviously in the house. Like, why y'all got him texting me like I'm in California or some shit? <laughs> Who was that? Bro. Why y'all texting me like I'm not in the house? Yeah, I forgot what you were doing, bro. You didn't say anything. I ain't leave you, drove. Nigga, I ain't know where the fuck you went, bro. I was trying to go home, but I forgot you had the interview. We about to, we about to wrap it up. All right, so Culture VA. Outside looking in, what is Culture VA to you? Like, what do you see when you see Culture VA? Um, honestly, like, it just shows a different perspective of the city. And it just shows different things that you really don't see on a normal basis, like, every day. And it shows, like, the background, like, behind the scenes of what you really don't get to see. And that's like the cool part about it. It's just, it's just interesting in general. For anyone who doesn't know Troy Blake, the artist, mm -hmm. what what can they expect from your music? Um, you can expect that my music will hold a lot of weight and that it has a lot of passion into it, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, just a lot of everything I've seen, everything I've done, everything I've witnessed, everything I've ever been through is going to be in my music. And that's my... You know, as an artist, you gotta be vulnerable. And I think I'm pretty much vulnerable to everybody when it comes to my music, because I don't hold nothing back or not say something, even if it will hurt somebody or hurt myself. I'm still gonna say it, no matter what. And I'm still gonna express myself through it. So that's what you can expect from my music. All right, so before we get out of here, I want you to tell people where to find you and what you have out, what's coming out, anything that you need to let the Shit. people know before we close this out. Um, well, my Instagram is Troy Blake 500 like no caps on nothing, just straight through Troy Blake 500 I'm on Facebook, but I don't really use that shit, but that's just Troy Blake if you want to add me up there. Um, but you can, you can find my music on Apple Music. Spotify, YouTube, well, pretty much all the streaming websites. If you're an artist, then you know what I'm talking about, too. But, um, yeah, it's on everything. So just look me up, Troy Blake, and you're going to find me. And then my music going to pop up. But for for the future, I am trying to, well, I am going to drop a, a couple projects. But one is going to be fairly soon. And I'm not going to say nothing else about that. But just know something coming.